What is up guys? This is Dan, strength and nutrition coach and founder of The DC System. And today I wanna to highlight my top three exercises for building massive glutes. The gluteus maximus is the biggest muscle in the human body and rightly so as it must be strong enough and large enough to keep the trunk erect and act as a powerful hip extensor. Coincidentally, a bigger butt is also a most attractive butt. Here are my top three exercises for getting rid of that pancake butt. My first choice is the trap bar deadlift. Why is that? The first reason why I favor the trap bar deadlift is that it places less demands on the spine. The hexagonal shape distributes the weight closer to your center of gravity, which means less stress on your spine compared to a conventional deadlift. Reason number two is that it's easier for beginners to master. The trap bar is a lot easier to learn compared to the conventional deadlift, making it a great choice for novices. In addition, most trap bars come with a set of high handles, which allow people with insufficient range of motion in the hips to deadlift with good form. Reason number three is that it's virtually similar to conventional deadlift. Contrary to popular belief, the trap bar places two times greater demand on the hip extensors, such as the glutes and hamstrings, than the quads and is more similar to the conventional deadlift than the squat as far as joint ranges of motion. And since the bar is directly in front of you like a regular deadlift, you can push the hips further back to simulate the position of a conventional deadlift. Begin by stepping inside the trap bar and align your midfoot with the sleeves of the bar. For a more hip dominant deadlift, drive the hips further back while slightly bending at the knees. Grab the bar with the wrist aligned with the sleeves. Retract your shoulder blades back and down Grab a big belly breath and brace your core. Drive through your heels and extend the hips completely, contracting your glutes hard at the top. This movement is best trained heavy, so I recommend sets of three to six repetitions. Exercise number two is the double band hip thrust. The hip thrust deserves a place on this list, but I prefer the double band hip thrust to the barbell hip thrust. First, band resistance increases towards the end range of motion or the top of the movement where the glutes activate the highest. And second, placing a smaller band around the knees increases maximum voluntary isometric contraction of the gluteus medius by forcing you to drive the knees out. Begin seated on the floor with your back against the bench. Let your shoulder blades rest just above the bench. If the bench is too tall, stack a box or weight plates underneath you until you reach this position. Place a long band across your hips, anchored either to a rack or heavy pair of dumbbells. Place a short band around your knees. Extend your arms across the bench for increased stability. Bend your knees 90 degrees and set your feet about shoulder width apart. Inhale deeply, exhale all the air out and contract your abs. Execute by tucking your chin, driving through the heels and squeezing your glutes hard at the top while simultaneously driving your knees out. This movement is best trained with higher reps so I recommend sets of 15 to 20 or more reps. And finally, my third top exercise for building massive glutes is the Bulgarian split squat. Most would consider the rear foot elevated split squat, commonly known as the Bulgarian split squat, a quad builder, and rightly so. However, there is also a lot of damage on the glutes due to the eccentric stretch on the way down. By creating a more vertical tibial angle or shin angle, we can reduce quad involvement and maximize the amount of damage to the glutes. Begin by holding a dumbbell in each hand and standing about three feet away from the bench. Place the instep of your rear foot on the bench. Lower yourself until the knee comes close to or in contact with the floor. To place a bigger emphasis on the glutes, make sure your shin is fairly vertical at the bottom of the squat. Lean slightly forward as you descend. Pause at the bottom and drive through your heels to return to the starting position. Notice that all three exercises offered a different stimulus for muscle growth. The trap bar deadlift trains the glutes heavy with low reps. This is also known as mechanical tension. While the Bulgarian split squat creates muscular damage through moderate reps. And finally, the double band hip thrust creates metabolic stress with higher repetitions. More on these three mechanisms of hypertrophy on a later video. All right guys, that's it for today. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like and share it. You can also find me on most major social media platforms. The links will be in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe. Here's to health and fitness.